Intel's next unit of computing, or short NUC. It's been a while since I looked at one of those. We're gonna check it out today. Hey guys, welcome back to How I Sense channel. My name is Ivan, and today we're looking at one of the latest Intel NUC mini PCs that I've been very interesting to see again because it's been a while. I think I've looked at the first generation or maybe the second generation when they came out and they were kind of a novelty at the time. They were quite expensive. They were coming in a very nice luxury box with all the Intel glitter on it, with the Intel sound, with the logos and everything else. And at the time, I could not justify paying the price they were asking for that computer. Now, if you know some things about Intel NUC, normally they are uh, sold in different versions with different CPUs or uh, different CPUs with uh, kind of a bare bone systems with uh, some things that you have to add yourself, including storage, memory, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but this specific one comes with everything included already. And I chose it for that specific reason because I wanted to just install it and go right ahead and start using it because my plan for this specific mini PC is to replace my current Plex server that I have in my house. And actually in the future, I'm gonna do some follow-up tutorial videos how to set up a Plex server on that kind of uh, mini PC because the one I'm currently using, it's an older HP home server that is drawing a lot of power. And this one is much more efficient. The CPU is much better. There are a lot of better encoding features on the CPU. So overall, it will be much faster and better experience with the Plex server. Uh, now, that being said, we're gonna look at this one. Like I said, we have a Core i5 a CPU over here, 1135G7. This is a four core, eight threaded Intel CPU. Uh, lower powered, uh, normally used in some uh, Ultrabooks and of course this kind of mini PCs. We have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, which is plenty for my needs. And we have 512 gigabyte NVMe storage, which is a good start. But additionally, you can add up to two terabyte SSD, regular SATA 3 SSD storage on a Caddy. And obviously as external hard drives, you can add even more because we have full size USBs, we have USB-Cs and all kinds of stuff. But without further ado, let's go ahead into the unboxing and we're gonna look at some of the features. Of course, at the end, we're gonna talk about it in conclusion. And like I said, I have plans about this PC. I'm gonna show you uh, possibly how to use it maybe for gaming. If I find one of those external enclosures that you can add a powerful GPU and maybe use it that way. Also, like I mentioned, tutorial for the Plex server. So stay tuned for follow-up videos on that specific Intel NUC computer. So let's go ahead and check it out. So gone are the days when uh, Intel were shipping those NUC computers in the fancy boxes. If you guys recall, this is more like an industrial plain box with a cover that says Intel NUC on it. And on the back, there's a little sticker with the information of what's inside. We have Intel i5 1135G7, 16 gigabytes of RAM, storage is 512 gigabytes, and the adapter is US. Interesting that they're calling this Celeron. In the past, I thought that was Intel Core i5 and not Celeron, but hey, they can call it whatever they want. Uh, it's a four core, eight thread processor. If I slide this uh, sleeve off, we'll see that it's uh, even more industrial looking inside. We have a sticker that protects the opening. We have uh, the information here on the back is a little bit <laughs> misleading. You will see uh, what they say. Motherboard it has the Wi-Fi 6, uh, which is 201. We have the VESA bracket, 120 watt uh, power adapter. And what is needed on the other side, it says power cord, memory, storage, and operating system. Very, very confusing because over here on this one, it says there's memory, storage, and adapter, but maybe they're, ref but maybe they're referring to how many, but they're, but maybe they're referring of uh, what's the maximum capacity of these things you can have. Um, I don't know, it's a little controversial here. So let me go ahead and open this and see what's inside. So right on top is the little nook. I'm gonna take it to the side so we can see what else is in the box. Again, very uh, industrial looking, a lot of recycled cardboard here. We have some quick start guides. Dear user, once your computer broke down and need repairing, please remove the DDR and SSD before you send it to repair. Well, hopefully that's not gonna happen to me. Uh, we have the safe safety information. We have regulatory information. Quick start guide, like I said, a lot of paperwork that most people will not even read. Interesting, now that we, we have the power cable and they were saying there is no power cable, so I'm, again, very confused. Um, we have the VIS amount, which you can use 
to attach it to the back of a monitor if you would like, which is one way to use it, of course. Uh, very solid, by the way, and we have Core i5 sticker right here. We have the screws, excellent for them to provide these screws because sometimes I really uh, hate getting uh, hardware like that and just having to chase the screws myself uh, all over the place trying to find the exact size. And here is the power brick, which is honestly larger than uh, the nook itself. You'll see how much more is protruding. Uh, very well designed. Unfortunately, not USB-C. It's a barrel style. And it's Chaconi 120 watt uh, power adapter. So uh, again, on the other side is the Mickey Mouse style uh, cable. All right, so we have a sticker on top. We're gonna remove that in a second. But just before that, I wanna see, we have a large, uh, very nicely done actually, mesh over here. You'll see inside, you can see the components for ventilation. Uh, on the back side here, we have uh, HDMI full size. We have USB-C, which is with the little Thunderbolt next to it. Excellent to see as well. We have full size USB 3, which this one is the super fast 10 times. Uh, regular USB, RJ45, another USB-C and another HDMI. So two HDMIs and two USB-Cs, excellent uh, selection. We have the power adapter right here and another exhaust point. And on this side, another big mesh with the Kensington lock. So plenty of ventilation uh, for the fan to draw air inside and exhaust it. And right on the front, we have the power button and another two fast USB-3s, uh, very compact with rubber feet where the uh, screws are and i'm gonna go ahead and open these right away so we can take a peek inside and see uh, what is this uh, one actually offering uh, so now let's see what's inside so if we pull this one good news this specific uh, sku does not require you to have nvme drive or memory they're already pre-installed we have some crucial uh, memory right here two by eight sticks and we have a 512 gigabyte NVMe storage by Intel as well hey this is excellent we have another smaller slot right here for a secondary NVMe drive if we need to and on this side right here we can slide a regular SSD drive so something like this just for extra storage we can plug it in they have already pre-installed uh, thermal pads they made one possible here a little one for the smaller and potentially uh, secondary nvme drive there's no uh, thermal pads for the memory but i'm assuming this memory is not going to be uh, that hot and let me remove actually one of those memory chips and see what, what we're looking at here interesting that's uh a good they're actually giving you dual side uh, memory it's not dual ranked but it's dual side uh, which is still pretty good and that's 3200 uh, mHz uh, DDR4 uh, sodium memory right here very similar to what we're using on most of our uh, gaming laptops this one will be pretty much good to go once we plug it in we're only going to have to install the OS so to install the two and a half inch SSD drive in a caddy all we need to do is flip it over and remove the rubber tabs which are super tiny so be careful not to lose them just peel them off with your finger very nicely and easy uh, from the bottom. And from here, all we need to do is just slide the SSD drive inside the caddy. And you will see right here where the connectors are. Just push it until uh, it goes fully connected and snug into the SATA power and SATA data. And then when you flip it around, you will see the holes on the two and a half inch SSD drives are matching uh, the ones that are on the bottom of the nook so from here all we need to do is grab some of the screws that are already providing and screw it through uh, that way uh, the ssd drive will stay secure inside the caddy and after that we're going to plug in our cable and we'll be good to go with no issues another interesting element to mention real quick is they actually made these long screws that are holding the bottom uh, to the top and not removable which i really appreciate so you're not going to lose them once you unscrew them they kind of fall flat and stay there uh, they're not gonna disappear so they are always attached to this caddy and i really i like this touch uh, so now uh, let me go ahead and check on the other part uh, obviously on the opposite of this motherboard and everything else is our fan uh, there is no really uh, a reason to remove all that to just to show you the fan the fan is not anything uh, spectacular we have fan with the heat sink which is the one that is providing the cooling for the CPU. But knowing how 
little power these CPUs are uh, draining, about 15 watts. I'm not expecting a lot of noise or a lot of heat to be uh, dissipated, but the way it's done, I uh, appreciate it because it's on the opposite side of the motherboard. And here we have the NVMe drives and the memory uh, having kind of a passive uh, heat dissipation on both sides uh, through these uh, mesh openings. Uh, very uh, well designed, I have to say. There's a ton of makers uh, making these kind of small computers from Factor, but obviously Intel started it all. So uh, I'm really hoping that this one is gonna be performing as I'm expecting from an Intel product. So once you're done with all your installations, just uh, plug the cable back on and re reassemble everything as it was before, just like that. It's interesting here that uh, Intel are even pointing an arrow where's the front of the PC. So like, we're not gonna be confused or anything. Obviously we have the power button over here. So this is the front and all the magic is on the back. Yeah, I'm gonna peel this plastic off as soon as I'm ready. It's good to keep it on, especially when you flip it around and do all kinds of stuff. So not to scratch the top when you're installing drives and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, so far pretty impressive, uh, kind of heavy, but considering the fact that how compact that is, and you can install it on the back of a monitor, uh, which it's provided uh, this amount, which goes right here. Uh, yeah, you don't have you don't have to worry about that at all. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and install the OS and see what kind of performance we're looking at. Uh, obviously, there's nothing uh, to brag about uh, when it comes to gaming, but office work and uh, obviously the main reason for me is Plex server. It's gonna work great, I think, uh, with the provided memory already and uh, NVMe drive. You don't have to worry about uh, sourcing some for yourself, uh, or you can go to a cheaper route and buy one that is not including all those things, and you can put it on if you already have it. So let's go ahead and check out the installation. All right, so another great surprise over here. After I hooked up the Nook with my keyboard and mouse and my external monitor, uh, it seems that there's a OS after all, and uh, this one is, coming with Windows 11, as you can see right here uh, on my portable monitor. So I'm gonna go through the installation real quick, see how long it's gonna take. Uh, I'm assuming super fast because these Windows 11 installations are even faster than Windows 10. So just click through the settings real quick and uh, we'll see how fast this is gonna be. Connecting to the wireless, takes a couple of seconds as well, uh, considering that we have uh, Intel AX201, which is excellent Wi-Fi 6 uh, chip right there. This little computer will be flying on the network with no problem. So realistically, we are looking at the complete package right here with this specific SKU. We have the i5, we have the memory, which is 16 gigabytes of RAM, perfect for Windows 11 or pretty much any other OS. We have 512 gigabytes of NVMe internal storage, very fast by Intel. We're actually gonna see how fast it is. I'm gonna run some tests and see uh, what the speed of this specific drive is. Uh, we have all the HDMI's, we have the Thunderbolts, we have uh, USB-C's, full-size usb so you definitely can use that uh, for office work immediately or after you get it, attach it to your monitor, just keep it underneath, it's gonna be perfect. Now the noise through installation, I'm gonna take my microphone and see if you guys can hear it. I don't think it's too loud. Yes, it's audible in a completely silent room uh, when it's doing tasks but uh, if you are keeping it away somewhere, especially as a server, uh, that noise is not gonna bother anybody, obviously. So just like that, uh, not even five minutes later, the whole installation is done, and Windows 11 is installed on the Nook, uh, and you're ready to go. I mean, this is uh, the complete package. Yes, I know the price tag might be a little bit higher than uh, what you're expecting from these kind of computers, but considering the fact that they're providing you the memory, they're providing you the NVMe drive, the OS or so the complete full package and all you need to do is if you need some extra storage beyond the 512 gigabytes NVMe just to slide in a, a regular SSD onto the caddy or get another NVMe drive that can sit uh, right next to the main one. Considering the fact that we have full-size USB 3s and USB C's we can attach some external storage uh, as large as they can sell it and that way you can have uh, some more if you are really building a bigger uh, server with a lot of content there. Uh, so yeah, that's that's gonna be uh, perfect. Just like that, we're done. We're in Windows 11. So hey, what can I say? I'm pretty impressed uh, with this uh, little one. Again, uh, some things uh, to consider is the price, obviously. So out of the 474 gigabytes uh, storage, we have 443 after installation. So we're looking at uh, pretty respectable results on the SSD or NVMe drive speeds. 
Obviously, it's not the fastest, but considering uh, the small package, I'm not really offended by it. And the result is pretty good. It's definitely faster than regular SSD drive, SATA 3 SSD drive. Uh, so uh, this will be uh, very well uh, utilized for server, again, or office work. Uh, and if we look at some of the information from the task manager, as I mentioned, the i5 1135G7 has four cores, eight threads, has combined cache of 13 megabytes. Uh, the memory is 16 gigabytes, 3200 megahertz. So we have the Intel SSD and the Wi-Fi is AX201. And finally, the graphics in Intel Iris Xi graphic, which is the integrated one. Pretty nice of a package. Uh, I mean, realistically, the higher one will be the one with i7. Uh, but that one probably is going to cost you a lot more uh, so having uh, the i5 is a good uh, middle ground balance between performance silence and of course price uh, so there's uh, there's there's a good options here so yeah let's go ahead and talk about it in the conclusion all right conclusion time and what do i think about this specific intel not computer i think coming in as a full package is absolutely great because you don't have to worry about anything you don't have to worry about buying OS, uh, getting extra memory, uh, getting extra storage, none of that stuff. You can actually go ahead, plug it in, go through the installation, which is taking no more than five minutes, as you guys saw, and you're gonna be off to using it immediately as Office PC, as a miniature server, as a NAS, if you wanna do something like that, or maybe if you wanna tinker around and play and install some Linux as well, Linux is working with it perfectly fine, it recognizes all the hardware, without any problem, wireless, everything else. Um, just stick it in behind a monitor and there you go. You have a very clean desk uh, with miniature PC. That it's quite powerful actually to do pretty much all of your day-to-day uh, -day office work uh, and maybe some light entertainment, obviously some light gaming. Uh, but as mentioned, I'm gonna try to do some heavier gaming with some external enclosures. I'm gonna show you how that possibly can improve the performance of this PC. So far, pretty impressed. I really like it. I'm not disappointed at all. Maybe Windows 11, eh, not, not still on board with Windows 11, but uh, I'm gonna try to deal with it and show you uh, how it's done because this is the future, I guess. We're not going back to Windows 10. That's pretty much it, guys. Hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the link in the description below if you wanna support the channel directly. It helps me tremendously to bring you videos like that regularly. And as always, guys, you have a wonderful day.